San Antonio today. A former professional baseball player turned local golf pro underwent a medical checkup to make sure that his heart was ready for a big upcoming race. What he learned showed he's facing a competition of sorts all right. It was actually the race for his life. Meet Phil Weiss, lymphoma survivor. My family's had a history of heart conditions and heart problems. I just wanted to check the box that my heart was good and healthy. And I was uh, gearing up for December of last year to complete the half marathon. Um, and was just that, seeing the cardiologist was just to, to have that sense of your heart's okay, you're good to go. During that testing, I showed that there was no calcium buildup. My heart condition was great, but my lymph nodes around my heart were swollen and enlarged. Tough day. August 29th was the day I was diagnosed with the mantle cell lymphoma. So it was a long stretch. I had multiple rounds of chemo. I had chemotherapy in September, October, November, and early December. Fortunately, I was able to follow a protocol with the MD Anderson folks. I did that here locally with my oncologist. There was a lot of, lot of long days and, and tough mornings from the chemotherapy and the side effects. On December 20th, I was able to be diagnosed uh, in remission. I had no activity in any of my lymph nodes. PET scans, CT scans, bone marrow biopsies, all the testing that came back was all negative for any activity. So uh, we went into the Christmas holiday with a true blessing in itself. We spent 56 days at MD Anderson between January 2nd to February 27th. Uh, with that, I had multiple stays in the hospital at MD Anderson, uh, one stay for about a week with five rounds of chemotherapy. The following two weeks later, another three-week stay with uh, 17 rounds of chemotherapy in about a five-day period. Uh, in between those two, they were able to harvest the stem cells from my own blood. So I was able to donate back to myself my own stem cells. The stem cell transplant was an option. Um, you're looking for long-term progression-free survival, and you're looking to do that without that cancer coming back. And the stem cell transplant really increased my odds of stretching that out past the five years, out to 10 years, and, and hopefully beyond. You know, remission for 30 or 40 years would be great. My wife and my two boys were here by my side the whole time. And then my Fair Oaks family, you know, they've been great. They've been very supportive of me all along. Two grandbabies. I got a three-year-old little granddaughter, Lamry, and a just turned one-year-old granddaughter, Gentry. Just a simple smile at times and how much that means to you. You know, the moments with your family, the, the, the birthdays you celebrate, the holidays you celebrate are even more special. And then the time with the grandkids are amazing. You get that diagnosis and you get that that news that from that point on you've got to be committed to the battle to be able to fight. You've got to rely on the strength of your family, the strength of your faith, the strength of your community to be able to fight. You've got to make that choice every day. Very strong man. It's cancer journeys like Phil's that inspired me to accept the challenge to raise awareness and money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, but I cannot do it alone. It's a team sport, you could say. And joining me today are two local businessmen who are helping in the fight against cancer by being title sponsors of my upcoming golf tournament. Hector Gonzalez III, an attorney, and also Todd Barnes of the HRO Group. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here today. Hi. Thanks we for are us. ready for the golf tournament. That's the fun part for a very serious reason. And it's Tuesday at Fair Oaks Ranch Golf and Country Club, which is where Phil is the pro. And so it really is bringing together the community and I'm hoping the whole city. So thank you for your interest in helping us out. Why did you want to be a sponsor? Because, you know, it, it, it is a fundraiser. We're mm -hmm. asking you for money. Well, first to help you and also to help the cause and you know, all the people that it helps. Um, as you know, I was involved previously a few years back and it raises a lot of money to, you know, help for cancer awareness and cancer research. That's so a really good cause. Former man of the year candidate right here yes. with Hector. A and Todd, cancer has touched I know, your family and your life. So this really hits home, doesn't it? Right. You know, you know I've been friends for a long time and we, we've both known that, uh, that cancer, is, it's a bad disease, whether it's lymphoma or breast cancer or any of the other types and, and anything that I can do to, to help raise awareness and, and raise money and, and of course help my friend, I'm going to I'm going to do that, so I'm happy to help. I certainly appreciate that. Let's talk about some of the fun. Why would golfers want to come out to a golf tournament? It's Tuesday, 1 o'clock, shotgun start. Longhorn Cafe, they're going to be catering the dinner afterwards. Lots of great silent auction items, sports memorabilia, Spurs stuff, inexpensive golf rounds that you can buy. You've both been at golf tournaments. Mm -hmm. Why would anyone want to show up well, for that? Why not? It's beautiful weather, be outside, you know, help me raise money for a good cause and have a good time and hang out with friends. And I do want to mention the top three teams will receive prizes. So Todd, do you have your team ready to go? 
Um, it's a work in progress. <laughs> <laughs> I but, need the names there. So yes. uh, for anyone who's on the fence, w what would you say to them to get them to come out and help us reach our goal? Because I'm trying to raise $150,000 in 10 weeks, so it takes a lot of people coming together. Well, there's nothing like spending a day out playing golf, whether you're good or a hacker. <laughs> so uh, if, it, if it helps a good cause, then I'll have more reason to be there. Thank exactly. You. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have a great time on Tuesday. I'm not playing. I don't want to leave too many divots in the course out there. Here are all the details. It's only $100 to play golf in this charity golf tournament. A lot of golf tournaments are higher than that. And so I was trying to price it uh, to be a price point that would really encourage a lot of people to come out. You can get more information by going to my website, which is lesliebowl.com. You just click on events and you'll find the golf link there. And you can also email me here at the station. I'll let you know more about that. We're going to have a great time again. Extend your Memorial Day weekend. Why go back to work on Tuesday or go to work in the morning, right? And then come and hang out with us. All right, let's hope we're going to have good weather though. Jeanette? Four zone weather.